Hello and welcome to another ATN tutorial. In this video, I'm going to go over the system settings on your Thor 4 thermal scope. Now, to get started, we're going to go into the system settings. To do that, you would press the center OK button on your scope. And once you get there, we're going to find the wrench icon, which is system settings, and we're going to go ahead and press OK again. From here, you will see five tabs. First one is thermal, photo video, display, profile zero, and settings. So the first one we're gonna go over is thermal actually. So from there, you're gonna see the first one on the list is contrast. Contrast is the difference in luminance and color that makes an object more distinguishable. You have the option from choosing from low, medium, and high. So this would be high, medium, and low. Now, thermal sensitivity allows you to select how sensitive the thermal sensor is in picking up thermal heat signatures. You have the options between choosing from one to five, five being the highest and one being the lowest. Next one will be metering mode. You have the options of choosing between matrix and center. The difference between the two is the center mode tells the sensor to concentrate on the heat signature in the center of the field of view and ignoring the background. Whereas the matrix mode, matrix mode tells the sensor to look at the heat signature in the entire field of view and in the background to give you a better image of the entire scene. Auto nuke, if you turn this option on, uh, the scope will automatically nuke itself when needed. So the, using the power button nuke, if you have this feature on, um, when the scope is in the home screen, by pressing the power button, just clicking it once, we'll do a manual nuke. Next one is color palettes. Here you've got the following color palettes available on your Thor 4 thermal scope. You've got white hot, black hot, red hot, green hot, Fusion, Glow Bow, Iron Bow, Rainbow, and Ring. Now for pixel correction. This feature is intended to correct neutral pixels that are visible in the field of view but are not responding to the changing environment or scenery. Uh, they may be white or black and remain static or non-responsive. So with this you can correct them you can try the autocorrect that'll correct most of the some of the um, pixels that you have if not you can always do a manual correction so you can just click enter here click ok and you would move this square with the blinking white black dot over the over your pixel if you have one i don't have one here actually on my screen but if you do for example you would just kind of move it over it press the ok button and go into add pixel so you click add pixel that should correct it and then you would press the OK button again and then go to save and exit so we'll go over back into the um, system settings of thermal and back to pixel correction okay so auto correction obviously auto corrects the the neutral pixels you can manually correct it but once you've done that the scope actually saves the the pixels that you've you've corrected so if you hit reset pixels that'll kind of reset the whole um, the whole screen and the pixels will become visible again so if you want to do like a, another manual correction if, if, if needed okay so now we're gonna go over the photo video tab the first one on the menu is um, the microphone you can turn this on or off next one is format SD card uh, when you do this it'll just basically yeah, like it says on the name format everything that is on your SD card so if you ever have anything that you need to save on there your photos or videos make sure you um, upload those to your laptop or computer before doing the format now recoil activated video um, lets you record your shot before and after for a certain set period of time so you don't have to uh, worry about you know remembering to hit that record button so if you press ok you can set the timer before the shot 
um, from 5 seconds to, to 15 seconds and the same for uh, after the shot from 5 to 30 seconds. Now the next tab uh, we're going to go over is the display. The first one on the, on the list is screen brightness. Uh, this gives you a from 1 to 5 numerical selection with being 1 the dimmest and 5 being the brightest. It is recommended that you use the brightest setting during the day for optimal performance. Now display widgets, uh, you can use extended or minimal. Uh, you will notice that in the home screen. So if you have minimal, you will be missing the cant and the, the tilt on your scope, uh, which you'll only see just the reticle and the zoom level and the kind of the battery, um, the battery amount that you have. With extended, you will get the cant and all the other uh, widgets on the home screen. Now, when you get to sleep mode, uh, you can turn this on or off. Uh, you can set the hibernation time for, for example, like 15 minutes, uh, 10 minutes, 5 minutes. So it will just go into hibernation mode if you're not going to be um, you know, moving the scope around. If you just kind of leave it uh, on your mount and then once you move it, it'll, it'll power back on instantly. And the next one is reticle style. You can change the shape of your reticle. You have all these different options to choose from. Let's say, let's use this one for example. And then you have different colors uh, you can choose from as well. You got red, orange, yellow, green, blue, gray, and black. Let's leave it at uh, yellow. And language, you can uh, set your scope to different languages. It's, you can look through those later on. Now the next tab is Profiles in Zero. Um, here you would be choosing the current profile that you have already. And here you can put in your ballistic information. Uh, I'll go over the ballistic calculator and how to set this up in a different video. Um, let's see, with other, you can create up to six different profiles. So I have one profile here and I can create up to six different profiles for different rifles and different ammunition. Now with import and export from SD card, um, you can export your profiles onto an SD card and then do for example like a factory reset and then import them back so you don't lose your zero and your, well, and your ballistic profiles and then you can import them back. Uh, zeroing able uh, I've done a different video on this you can find it on our YouTube channel uh, where I connected the able to uh, the 4k pro and then did a zeroing able kind of tutorial you can look it up it's the same for the for the Thor 4 as well and that's it so we're gonna go over to settings so now in the settings tab we've got uh, first one is units now you can switch those from metric or standard system. Next one, you can set the date and time. So clock source, it can be either manual um, or what from Wi-Fi. So you've got the date format, clock format, and basically set date and time. Next, we've got Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. So with a uh, remote controller, you can uh, connect the extract remote via Bluetooth that we have available in our accessories. Uh, remote control orientation, that's just basically changing the wheel from front to back depending on your preference. So rangefinder is the option where you're going to be pairing your uh, laser ballistics rangefinder, the handheld one. Able is the option of pairing your uh, auxiliary ballistic laser rangefinder to the scope. Now, able mode allows you to change the mode in which the able will function, standard or fog mode. Now, Wi-Fi info. Here you will see on the right side, SSID. Mine ha says Thor 4 uh, 29 AD. This is how you're going to see uh, your scope in the Wi-Fi network. For example, like if you're searching for it on your phone, uh, that's what's going to be called. And then you've got your password, which is ATN Smart HD, to connect it. 
Now, Binux uh, LRF, I'll go over that in a different video. It's connecting your uh, new Binux uh, and Inhabit range. So let's go back. Device type. Uh, this is where you choose choose the lens the lens that you have. Mine is 2.5 by 25x. Make sure you choose the appropriate one for your zooming options. Uh, zoom. Uh, you can change from standard or extended. Just keep in mind that extended is an electronic zoom, so it'll get a little bit more pixelated if you do the extended zoom. If you get past 25x, for example, in my uh, on my scope. Now, uh, restore factory settings. This will restore all the set settings to their factory kind of default. Now, firmware version, oh, it doesn't click all firmware version, but firmware version shows you the current firmware version on your particular scope. And that's it on the system settings on the Thor 4. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video.